Planned Parenthood announced the removal of its president yesterday amid increasing attacks against abortion rights nationwide. Dr. Lena Wen's departure comes just eight months after she stepped into the role. Wen cited philosophical differences over the direction and future of the Federation as the reason for her departure. CBSNews.com reporter Kate Smith has been following this story and she joins me now. Kate, boy, what an incredible year it's been for anti-abortion activists. You've got this so-called heartbeat bill that's passed in many states. You've got Alabama totally, you know, banning the procedure entirely. So why make this leadership change now so soon into her tenureship? Well, I was speaking to a lot of people at Planned Parenthood and you're absolutely right. This couldn't have come at a worse time for an organization where abortion is such a huge part of what they do. And they're, you know, the nation's largest abortion provider. But what sources are telling me is it has absolutely nothing to do with everything that you've seen going on in state legislators this year. And it's really it was just a leadership and management problems that had to be dealt with. I was speaking to one person over the phone and she was just like, there couldn't possibly have been a worse time to happen mm -hmm. to have this happen. And it really speaks to how severe the problems were that they had to do this at this time. And not only coming off of a really difficult state legislative session, but then also looking ahead to 2020. Mm -hmm. No, this is such a huge issue. Everyone knows that. But here's what Dr. Wen had to say. In a statement, she said she believes that, quote, the best way to protect abortion care is to be clear this is not a political issue, but a health care issue. Was the problem that the folks at Planned Parenthood disagreed with that? I don't think that it is. So, of course, Planned Parenthood, they have been pretty limited in their public statements about Wen's departure. They're really looking towards the future. They're promoting the, you know, the people that they want to lead and just move forward. But from the inside, again, people are telling me this really didn't have to do with any sort of philosophical differences. In fact, they've really rejected that statement that she put out mm. on Twitter that, you're, mm -hmm. that you just read for us. And they're really saying this was leadership problems. What do they mean by leadership problems? So one thing that kept coming up was Dr. Wen's use of facts mm -hmm. and using the word fact in a kind of a loose way. So one thing in particular is Dr. Wen continued to say that thousands of women died every year in abortion care prior to Roe v. Wade. Mm -hmm. She was saying that up until a Washington Post fact checker told her that that was completely inaccurate. Like this just wasn't right. Mm -hmm. They put a huge story about it. And you know, a lot of anti-abortion rights activists really clung on to that saying, uh -huh. you know, here's the top of Planned Parenthood yes. asserting something that just isn't true. And what sources are telling me inside of Planned Parenthood they were telling her long before that fact check came out to stop using that. Mm. And then afterwards told her, stop using that. And she wouldn't listen. But and based, that's really what was going on, things like that. And based on your reporting, it wasn't just even the facts also. There were some management issues. What were those issues? Apparently, when she came in, she immediately filled a lot of the roles that were, you know, right around her with mm -hmm. people that she knew, people that came from Baltimore. She was the city official, uh, health official there. And she really apparently, you know, again, speaking to sources inside, was very insular about her communication style. She really didn't, you know, widely communicate issues within the organization, really relied on these people that were close to her her to do that. And of course, with an organization like Planned Parenthood, who is constantly under public scrutiny, mm -hmm. there needs to be a strong unifying message. And that's really hard to do when you have all these newcomers who are new to the organization, new and you know, they don't know how to communicate with everyone. You know, and, and that was a major problem that other people cited. Okay. And in a statement, Dr. Wen said that this removal came after the board held what she called a secret meeting and that her departure was based on philosophical differences, as we talked about. What do we know right now about the future of Planned Parenthood? Parenthood, who do you think might lead and take them into the next direction? I mean, that's a great question. So right now, they have given the interim president role already. Mm -hmm. They're going to have that person stay in place until the end of this year, and they're not even going to look for a permanent replacement until the beginning of 2020. They want to cool this off for a minute. Mm -hmm. But I think what we've learned here in, in Dr. Wen's short tenure is that Planned Parenthood they're going to be really in the forefront in the media, in you know, in politics mm -hmm. in D.C. through 2020. We're seeing abortion emerge as a huge hot tip, hot topic item for 2020, and you really need someone at the top of that organization who's comfortable being mm -hmm. there, who knows how to handle it, knows the importance of truth and use of facts, and is comfortable doing all of those things and communicating accurately and transparently. I think that's what they're going to be looking for moving forward. Dr. Wynn had huge shoes to fill with Cecile Richards. Gosh, I mean, just really. Um, somebody who was really the face of the organization for so many years.